Hello there, it's me once again and I just want to show you an update on my three aquaponic systems and my garden in self-watering container pots made out of 6 liter water bottles. I live in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia where the weather could get as high as uh, close to 50 sometimes most of, or sometimes or most of the time mid 40s high 30s and it's a big challenge to maintain a garden it's a big challenge to keep the plants alive outside alhamdulillah my garden is in my small balcony in an old rundown apartment somewhere in Jeddah and right now you're looking at two beautiful flowers of my Kerela plant or Dira Melon in Tagalog Ampalaya. I've already pulled out three of my matured Ampalaya plants to give way to other plants. This is one of my aquaponic systems. Here I'm growing one Ampalaya or bitter melon and somehow it's still giving me fruits and fresh young leaves there's one broccoli plant I'm trying to dry some ceiling W or cayenne peppers here I think I've grown some asparagus summer asparagus this is a long variety bitter melon and I think this one is a looks like uh, okra or baby fingers to me but anyway that's the grow bed in uh, that's the grow bed of one of my systems and powering it with nutrients is an adult tilapia somewhere out there I have only one adult tilapia in that system somehow I got a few fruits over there it's growing this is a moringa tree or malungai in Tagalog I asked to have a branch a matured branch from somebody somewhere out there instead he gave me one seed he was I think it was very generous of him to give me one seed. Alhamdulillah, it grew. It germinated and now it's growing. It's, uh, I think, close or around a foot high now. These are some chilies. I think these are bell peppers or the other variety that I got. This is in a self-watering container pot. This moringa is just in a container with some hydrotone and some potting mix. Here's another system that I have. Here I'm growing one ladyfinger okra and a gigantic sweet potato. Yes, I grew this one from stem that I've rooted from a matured plant. Uh, alhamdulillah, it has grown. And now really, it's dominating the canopy that used to be having my Kerala plant. I have a few seedlings here. I threw seedlings every now and then and so far I think only two have germinated but you can see that the root system of the sweet potato is completely and absolutely crazy. Here I have three fungaceous fish, two regular fungaceous and one albino fungaceous. And yes it's hard to decide really whether I'm gonna cook them soon. But anyway, at least I know I'm not gonna die of hunger one day because I have I have some plants, I have some vegetables to cook, and I have some tilapia to cook as well. Now this is my oldest system. I've already pulled out two matured ampalaya or bitter melon from this grow bed, and now I'm just growing some basil. And the reason why I pulled out the the dwarf variety ampalaya is to give way to this one long variety ampalaya and some cucumber. I'm trying to grow some cucumber here. There's a few, there are a few seedlings. 
that have germinated that only knows what they are but hopefully something useful and in this fish tank it's almost impossible to see because it's it's dark uh, I have one mature tilapia as well all the tilapias I have I've gotten from Marhaba supermarket and here I'm trying to germinate some more seeds these are peppers more peppers this is a snow peas some Swiss chards there some more sweet shards and a cucumber here. I tried my hand on deep water culture, but I think I don't have a an air pump that's strong enough to give them uh, the oxygenation that the roots need. Now here you will see the plants that are planted in self-watering container pots. These periwinkles have survived, but they I haven't seen a flower for a long time. I think it's one over there. And uh, there are a few buds here and there. This is an old evergreen. I think I have to replant this to give way. I think the root system has grown. There's some more ornamental plants, some more ornamental plants. I have a jasmine plant over there that is faithfully flowering. And some more sweet potatoes. I've grown a lot of sweet potatoes because I like putting the leaves in my noodles. Some more ornamental plants there that aren't doing too well. Now here I have germinated uh, corn, yeah, which I'm gonna be replanting on another one of my systems. And this I think is a an ornamental plant. Here I have, I hope, I hope, I hope these are pawpaws. I'm trying to grow some pawpaws. I bought one Malaysian papaya in a supermarket some time ago, and I dry the seeds, and hopefully. These are the ones. It looks cool. I just hope they are. Otherwise, they probably are berries. So that's about it. Now I'll be leaving you again the same way I started this video with these two beautiful flowers from my bitter melon or kerela or ampalaya plant. I would like to encourage you to visit my blog site. It's ygermino.blogspot.com and you're gonna see there are more pictures and more videos of my aquaponic systems if you're living in the Middle East especially in Saudi Arabia yes gardening is possible yes you don't have to waste a lot of water yes you don't have to go to the the hustle of maintaining a garden if you just learn how to do self-watering container pots and hopefully aquaponics for your own ornamental plants I haven't tried it on ornamental plants or probably I had but it, uh, it wasn't very successful. I hope to do it soon. That's about it. That's my garden. Now instead of uh, gigantic Kerala vines, I have this beautiful sweet potato. I realized that sweet potatoes love water and love aquaponics more than kangkong. I don't know why my kangkong is very thin and looks malnourished. It didn't really grow too much. But like this beautiful sweet potato there you are that's my update today is what I think 19 or 20 of October 2011 I started aquaponics in January and my systems have seen a lot of changes already nevertheless I'm glad that I have learned it and now I'm just enjoying enjoying it Thank you so much for watching.